God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We ask for the mighty hand of God and this morning we are going to listen the word of God. We are going to listen the word of God. We are going to listen to the word of God. We are going to listen to the word of God. വളരെ പ്രാർത്ഥനയോടെ കർത്താവിൻ്റെ സ്ഥലമായിരിക്കാം ആൻഡ് ഐ ബിലീവ് ദാറ്റ് ദ ലോഡ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ടു സ്പീക്ക് ടു അത് ദിസ് മോർണിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് മോർണിംഗ് ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു സ്പീക്ക് അബൌട്ട് എ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ തീം ഓർ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ടോപ്പിക് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നോൺ ആസ് ദ സ്പിരിച്വൽ ലെസൺസ് ഫ്രം ദ ലൈഫ് ഓഫ് ആക്ഷൻ പ്രീച്ചേഴ്സ് ദ സ്പിരിച്വൽ ലെസൺസ് ഫ്രം ദി ഫ്രം ദി ലൈഫ് ഓഫ് ആക്ഷൻ പ്രീച്ചേഴ്സ് മെയിൻ അത് പറയുന്ന ഉടനെ നിങ്ങൾ ചിന്തിക്കുന്നുണ്ടായിരിക്കും എന്തോ ഈ പറയാൻ പോകുന്നത് അല്ലേ ഓക്കെ വലിയ കാര്യമൊന്നും അല്ല വളരെ സിമ്പിളായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു കാര്യമാണ് ഈ പ്രവാചകൻ ഞാൻ മലയാളത്തിൽ ജസ്റ്റ് ഒന്ന് പറയാം എന്നിട്ട് ഞാൻ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്യാം ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ വചനത്തിൽ കാണുന്നതായ പ്രവാചകന്മാർ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പ്രസംഗകർ അവർ മിക്കവാറും പേരും ജസ്റ്റ് പറയുകയല്ലായിരുന്നു ജസ്റ്റ് പ്രസംഗിക്കുക മാത്രമല്ലായിരുന്നു അവർ ചില കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്തിട്ട് ആക്ഷൻ വിത്ത് ആക്ഷൻ ചില കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്തിട്ടാണ് അവർ ആ മെസ്സേജ് കൺവേ ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരുന്നത് സോ അതിനെക്കുറിച്ചാണ് പ്രസംഗിക്കാനായിട്ട് താല്പര്യപ്പെടുന്നത് യു നോ ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ ദി ആൾട്ടസ്റ്റ് മെൻ യു ക്യാൻ സി മെനി ആക്ഷൻ പ്രീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓർ ആക്ഷൻ ആക്ഷൻ സെർമൺസ് ആർ ദിയർ ഇൻ ദി ഇൻ ദി ഇൻ ദ ഓൾട്ടസ്റ്റ് മെൻ എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഇൻ ദ ഓൾട്ടസ്റ്റ് മെൻ so when we uh, study about those things we will understand that in the artist men uh, god was using uh, various prophets and uh, the preachers uh, to deliver the messages in different uh, uh, ways or different uh, uh, methods like like uh, you know uh, someone was used by god to uh, convey their message or communicate their message uh, by doing something okay by doing some actions uh, in front of the people and they were trying to or the prophets or the preachers were trying to convey that communication or convey that message or that serious message uh, to the people through doing something okay that's what uh, we uh, need to understand that but uh, why god was asking to the prophets and the preachers to do something and uh, do some action and tell them that this is the message what is the reason you know because that much was the seriousness of the message which was uh, delivered to the people of god i mean so by understanding the seriousness of the message okay oro message indeyum gauravam nammal tirichariya kaliyumbodana ad etrathalam aalukalilekku convey cheyapadanam ennulladine kurichu chindikkunnathu so that's the reason that god was using some of the prophets and uh, uh, some of the uh, preachers in the bible especially in the old testament to convey that serious messages to the to the people and god was intended to that it, it should be reachable and it should reach to the people uh, of of god in a in a different way that's why that uh, those people will be coming back to god if they are i mean away from the presence of god okay so i would like to uh, speak something about uh two prophets and their messages in uh, in the old testament today uh, the first person is uh, the prophet hosea okay the prophet hosea we know that uh, uh prophet hosea is the first minor prophets in the in the bible okay so there are many uh, prophets written in the bible and there are many prophets uh, uh, they they wrote many books also but uh, the first uh, four I men isaiah jeremiah Mm. then yes again daniel or oh, these these four uh, uh, prophets are known as the major prophets okay then comes the 12 prophetical books from hosea to malachi so these 12 prophetical books are known as the minor prophetical books it's not because of okay uh, someone was major prophet or someone was minor prophet it it was not because of that but uh, it was only uh, uh, according to the content which was uh, uh, given there and it was only according to the duration that uh, those prophets were serving the lord and prophesying in a period okay so it was on the basis of that at the same time you know this man hosea was a great person and he was a great prophet of god and god used to hosea to uh, uh, convey his messages to the people in different way and here also when you think about uh, the hosea you will see that god was using this man uh, in, in in a different way okay god was not using the same way that god was using the other people or other uh, prophets or other preachers or other pastors okay but god was using hosea the 
prophet in a different way. That is what we see in uh, Hosea chapter 1 verse, I mean 2. You know, when I was meditating from this book, and when I was uh, uh, studying from this book and uh, uh, when I was preparing the message, I was just thinking that, okay, it is, it is easily we can connect uh, the situation of the people of Israel in, in those days with uh, the, the present situation of the Christian churches and uh, the present situation of the, the world and all those things. I mean, so it is very easy to connect all those things which is written in the book of Hosea with uh, or comparing with uh, all those things uh, uh, to the to the present day uh, Christianity or present day world situation, whatever it may be. Okay, so let us connect that and let us understand how the people of those days, the people of Israel, how they were living in that country and how the people of God are serious about the things which is written in the Bible today. Amen. Hallelujah. So it is very serious. It is very serious. Not, don't take it as a silly thing. You know, I am so serious about something which is, uh, I mean, particularly written in the Bible. And some of the topics that we should be very serious about that, okay? There are something which we can uh, simply say something or simply make a message or sermon like that. But there are something in the Bible which is very serious. Okay? So the serious thing, we cannot make it as a silly thing. Okay, Serious thing is a serious thing. So that's the reason that I'm taking this, this topic. And when I'm preaching from this topic, let me, let me pray. And I'm praying for every one of us that we all will be returning to the Lord. And by the word of God, we are able to return back to God. And our situations will be changed. And our condition will be changed. And we will be coming I mean, forward to do something for the name of the Lord. And God says in Bible that you are supposed to be faithful and you are supposed to be, I mean, a holy in the presence of God. So that's the reason that we see and understand, and we can understand that the people of Israel when they were going back from the presence of God, the people of God, when they were doing something against the will of God, against the word of God, when God was using some prophets, God was using some churches, and God was using and sending some, uh, I mean, I mean, preachers among them, and they were preaching the word of God very, I mean, very courageously, and they were saying that you must be be back to the Lord, and you must come back to the Lord. They were telling the Sunday children that, "Agan the boy died, I mean, Israel Janate, our Madaki Kundu Irvanai, they were telling the Sunday that, "Dipiku Vanai, they even para poor, para pravachikan mare ubiyoichetunda, a pravachikan mare loda kudatta died, I mean, serious side to la, I mean, sir, messages, that adinte died." Hallelujah. Well, Madani one Lenkil, I mean, if there is no restoration and if there is no returning back to God, and there are something is going to happen in the midst of the people of God. That also God said. That also God said. But that's the reason I told you that. When, when we compare the messages, serious messages of the Bible, especially the Old Testament messages which was given for the people of Israel, and when we are comparing and when we are taking that seriously and just comparing with the people of God today, with the Christendom today, with the world today, we understand it is easily connected. Man, and let's pray that, let every person, those who are in our church, and let every person, those who are around us, Hallelujah, the worldly people, okay? The godly people and the worldly people. Then let them let them come back to God and let them call upon the name of the Lord and let them become the holy people. Let them become the, 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 the believers. Let them become the, the, the children of God. Hallelujah. And let us go to uh, uh, chapter 1, Hosea chapter 1, verse 2. Then, so the first person that I am taking is Hosea. Then I uh, will be talking something about Ezekiel. Okay? These are the, the uh, Hosea is a minor prophet and uh, Ezekiel is a major prophet. Okay, we will take uh, I mean both of them and uh, we are going to uh, get some spiritual lessons from the from the life of uh, uh, these preachers or these prophets. Okay. So Hosea is known as an action preacher. Hosea is known as an action preacher and his messages and his, his I mean, sermons were always the action sermons. Okay? That means he was supposed, he was supposed to prophesy from his own experience. He was supposed to prophesy from his own experience. That means the struggles and the pain in his life was connected with the situation of the people of Israel. Man, let's read that verse maybe. Hosea chapter 1 verse 2. Hosea chapter 1 verse 2. When the 
Is that correct? Hosea chapter 1 verse 2. 2. Yeah, yeah. Once again, you read that verse. Ah. Hmm. Okay, so what is that? You know, when, when we read that particular verse in, in Malayalam, I will read it. Yehovah Mosham, Hosea, Yeh Mugandran, I mean, Samsarichi, Thudangiya Paul, Yehovah Hosea, Yeh Mugandran, Nii Chandu Parasangam Chayinna, Oru Bhariyayam, Parasangatthil Jenitsa, Makkalaya Vedukkuga, Desham, Yehovah Yeh Vettu Mari, Kadina Parasangam Chayidirikkinna Vello, in the okay, so it is not, I know, when, when, we, when you read that particular uh, verse, uh, uh, you may be thinking, why God is doing this? Man, a man like uh, a young man, uh, the prophet Hosea, why God is asking to that person to do this? Man, because you know, God was saying that, okay, you have to do this and you have to take a prostitute woman uh, from outside and you have to make her as your wife and you will have uh, three children in, 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 that, in that woman. Okay, so God was, I mean, telling to, to I mean, uh, this man, Hosea, the prophet Hosea, and saying that you have to do something, you have to do some action. I mean, he was not asked to, I mean, I mean, preach only the preaching, but he was asked to, I mean, connect his life experience with his, with his sermon or with his, I mean, messages. Okay, that's the reason that God was asking to the prophet Hosea that you are supposed to do this with an action and I'm going to connect that, I mean, situation, connect that struggle or that pain of your personal life or family life with the situation of the people of Israel. Okay, so you know uh, you have to understand what was the what was the speciality of the time when Hosea was receiving this message. Okay, the time or when he was receiving this message or what was the situation of the people of Israel while I mean Hosea was receiving this message. That is in uh, uh, Hosea chapter one verse one. Read that verse also, chapter one verse one. Okay, there are there are five kings' names are there written there in in verse one. Okay, so while uh, um, uh, these kings were uh, ruling over Israel or Judah, you know what was the situation of that uh, people of Israel those days? And when Hosea was receiving this message, this is the situation that which was happening among the people of God. When five uh, uh, kings are there, what is that? Uzziah uh, and Jodam, Ahaz, Hezekiah. Then Jeroboam. Okay, so these five kings were ruling over the Israel or Judah, okay, both the, the divided kingdom. At the same time, you know, this man, the, the prophet Hosea, was receiving the messages from the Lord, and God was saying the situation among the people of Israel is very bad. What is the situation? You know, the following verses when you read, you will understand that the people, the, the people of Israel, they were conquered by the Assyria. They were conquered by the Assyria and they were intermingled with the other nations and as a result when they were when becoming a mixed race and they were doing murder and idolatry and immorality and everything. So all these things were happening among the people of God, among the people of Israel while Hosea was giving this message to them. Okay, listen. So how we can connect this message and how we can connect the action message of Hosea towards the people of Israel. You know, God was giving some serious messages to Hosea and God was saying that you have to do this and you have to show them that this is what is happening among the people of Israel. Okay, I mean, you know, when you go to uh, 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 that I mean, particular I mean, uh, chapter or the, those chapters, you will understand that when the people, those who were living during the time of uh, the prophet Hosea, when they were I mean, not having the interest to hear the word of God, and they, I mean, no need of correction. That means when the prophets were preaching or prophets were prophesying, the people of God, they don't want to come back to God. And they, they don't like the correction. Or they don't want to, I mean, know uh, the, 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 the will of God. They don't want to know the, I mean, what is the seriousness of the word of God. And they were, I mean, again and again, those people were come, going back, I mean, going away from the presence of God. The apostasy was happening there. 
okay the people of god they were away from the presence of god they were not able to I mean, really know i mean what is the will of god I mean, and they were mingled with the, the other nations okay and they were away from the lord and that's the reason that hosea was preaching against all those things hallelujah and also you know when i was uh, 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 meditating the word yesterday you know uh, i was just thinking about to yesterday's picnic you know we many people came there and when our aunties were uh, going there and uh, uh, distributing the tract and bible when someone was saying we don't want this we don't want this gospel literature we know everything or uh, i mean we don't want this and we are not the people like that and uh, we don't want and they were rejecting the the gospel and they were rejecting and andy was saying i mean uh, anamandi and mariamani was saying me oh pastor they said like this and uh, they don't want it and they didn't receive it then i said no problem you have given it and you tried your level best and they are not receiving no problem men god will ask them right men so you have no accountability about that and you have just delivered the message or you were supposed to give that and if they are not receiving there is no problem at all if they are not receiving there is no problem at all it's not your fault that it's not our fault that we are not sharing that we already shared and we already tried men so the people today maybe outside the outside the church and even in the inside the church also and sometimes i was just thinking in 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 christianity in 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 many other churches the people are going away from the real presence of god it is true that they are coming to the church they are coming and gathering for the for the picnic but it is true that they are coming for the retreat it is true that they are for the sunday churches churches there and they are for the I men fellowship the zoom fellowship is there everywhere the people are coming the people are attending the people are having the fellowship at the same time i do not know how much we are giving importance for the word of god I mean how much we are i mean attracted by the word of god how much we are close to the lord and how much we are eagerly waiting for the power of the holy spirit hallelujah i don't know how much we are close to god how much you are experiencing the presence of god let me ask you one thing even though we were worshiping here no the worship team was leading the songs here how many of you experienced the presence of god in your life today today you know don't blame the blame the i uh, mean uh, what is that uh, the, the the worship team or somebody i mean don't blame anybody those who, those who are standing i mean behind you or in front of you or sitting i mean i mean uh, both sides or something but god is looking and god is asking how many of you have experienced the presence of god the real presence of god while we are singing while we are listening the word of god while we are listening a sermon hallelujah and how many of you are I mean, praying or oh, not speak to me how many of you pray today or oh, not speak to me only if you only if you listen very 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 serious thing I, 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 i would like to share with you this morning that you know when we preach or when, when somebody is preaching or when when, when somebody is someone uh, 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 leading a song or i mean leading a service when so you have to pray the people those who are sitting there the people those who are standing there you have to pray or oh, not speak to me a god and god can speak to you through a song even and i mean so you will receive the word of god from the lord in right time if you are eagerly waiting for that hallelujah so that is what is happening in our churches also but let's think about how much we are enthusiastic and how much we are eager to come to the presence of god how much we are able to come to the presence of god very with a with a, with a pure heart eh hrudaya nurukka thodu kude devathinte sannilekku varanayittu etra verku sadikkunnunde men verude nammada show mathram alla eh porathu nammal kaanikkunna show mathram alla nammada outward appearance mathram alla ella karyangal nadakkunnundu pakshe nammal aandhrigamayi nammada manasu konde etrathol nammal kartavinod adutha irikkune nammal etra agaye alle me priyamulla deivamakale etrathol magannu poyo atrathol deivasilekku madangi varanalla doodu aanu nadu polkaram kartav thannondirikkune hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord so listen to that particular i mean portion that when you read hosea chapter 1 verse 2 I mean there we see that he was told by God to marry a prostitute woman I mean Hosea was told to marry a prostitute woman and her name was Gomer and also to have children in that woman and later Gomer left him and went after another man then Hosea had a responsibility to buy that person buy that wife as his own wife listen 
You know, Hosea was asked by God that you go outside and marry with a prostitute woman. Okay? It is, it is beyond our understanding, beyond our comprehension, right? Okay? We cannot understand what is the meaning of that. When a person, a, a young person, when maybe, I mean, the scholars are saying maybe he was having 35 or 40 years old, okay? Because uh, the total uh, ministry duration was 52 years of Hosea. So he started his ministry by uh, 30th, in his 30th age, okay? So 30, then, then maybe 5 years, or, I mean, uh, 10 years, he was working, he was prophesying among I mean, the people of God. And during that time, you know, in, in, the, in the age of 35 or 40, God is asking to Hosea, you do one thing, you go outside and get a, pro, uh, what is a prostitute woman as your wife and you are going to have three children in that woman. Is that believable? Is that believable? When God is saying something to Hosea and if God is saying to you today that you do this, you do this. Okay? Is, that, is that possible with you? What do you will say? No God. I can't do that. Man, if, if you have a wife, you will say that, okay, I have a wife. Eh? I cannot go for another wife. <laughs> okay? And somebody who, who is unmarried, he will say that, okay, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, he was saying that, okay, we are ready for that. Huh? Okay. And uh, otherwise, you know, the bachelors, okay, the youngsters, let me ask you, you know, if somebody, if, if God is saying that, okay, you do this, and you will say, no God, I can't go for that because I'm a bachelor and I'm having maybe 25 years or 30 years. Okay, so I don't want to do that. I mean, even if it is said by God, I don't want to do that because I mean, this, is, this is not good, oh God. You know, there are many people thinking and in that way today, you know, there are many scholars are saying that, okay, uh, 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 somebody is saying that, okay, this, this didn't happen. You know, they are saying, no, it could not be happened because God is uh, always against the prostitution or adultery or something like that but I mean how can a God who is standing for holiness and how can a God who is standing against the adultery or prostitution how that God can encourage another person to go and marry a prostitute woman okay some scholars are saying no no it was not really happened it was just a vision for Hosea, in his vision, he received that vision and that message and he was just conveying to the people of God. And he was just communicating that message, that serious message to the people of God. It was just a vision. Is that? That makes sense. But at the same time, it is not. Actually, God told Hosea that you have to do it. And he did it. Okay? It was according to the will of God. And because of that, Hosea was not going away from the presence of God. Okay? But God wanted to give a serious message. And God wanted to give a serious message to the people of God. That's the reason God said, you go there and marry a prostitute woman. And you are going to have three children in that woman. I mean, so the other people are saying that again, okay, oh, it was not happening there. And uh, just uh, uh, Hosea was sharing that message to the people. He was receiving the vision. You know, when you study about uh, the other prophets also, there are many other prophets, those who were going through the struggles in this way. The same thing, not, not the same thing, but the other, I mean, the life experiences of the, uh, uh, just like Hosea, they were also going through the struggles in their life, in their family life, in their personal life. And God was telling to other prophets also that you have to do this. Not only preaching, not only prophesying, you have to do this for a particular period of time. And God will preach, that, uh, or God will I mean, deliver that message or communicate that message in a different way. I mean, so this very clearly we can understand that it already happened. Okay, It already happened to the people of God, especially through, uh, through uh, Hosea. Okay, And uh, think about a bachelor man marrying a prostitute woman was to communicate a serious spiritual lesson. What is a serious spiritual lesson? It was the spiritual adultery. Okay, so God wanted to tell them that among the people of Israel, the spiritual adultery is happening. The spiritual adultery is happening. Okay, but when you read Bible, we understand that in the Old Testament, adultery was a serious sin. Okay, read Levit Leviticus chapter 20 verse 10. 
Leviticus chapter 20 verse 10. Mm. Ah. Mm. You know, adultery was a serious sin <coughs> among the people of Israel. Okay. Already, God has given many, I mean, uh, many uh, uh, sermons about or preachings about uh, but the same thing. Okay, the laws and everything about uh, the, the adultery. But again and again, the people of Israel, they were having the spiritual adultery. Okay, how can we connect, uh, I mean, this thing, the, the, the sin of the people of Israel with the Christian of today? The Christian church today, you know, what is happening here? We are not, I mean, we may not be, I mean, having that, uh, I mean, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, as the believers or as the children of God, we may not be doing that, I mean, in our, in our, I mean, physical, I mean, I mean, uh, status. At the same time, spiritually, the church, the Christian church and the believers are going away from the presence of God and they are doing the idol worship in different ways. Hallelujah. I mean, Vigraharathana namala chayarilla. Adultery number Chayarla, Parasanga number Chayarla, Pache, Atmiga number of Parapur Mendino. The Chayinunda. Engineana, Engineana, Atmiga Maita, Allegal, Vishwasil on the Parayanuri volume, when Matula Vimai to the I could get till a lingual friendship in Rola Bendatil, E. Logatoda, Inangi Cherna, I mean Logatoda Cherna, Logatin Istamula number Chayim Paul, then Dana. It's a spiritual adultery, Anna, or Parasanga Mana, Le, Atmiga Mai, no Kikanya Dana. So that is the reason that 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 uh, when God is telling them that when you are supposed to be back to the Lord from your spiritual adultery because it was a dangerous thing, it was a serious thing, serious sin among the people of Israel. That's the reason that it says that when they were supposed to be killed in the Old Testament, those who were doing that adultery, they were supposed to be killed. At the same time, God was allowing Hosea to deliver, to convey a serious message to the people of God on those days. Hallelujah. And we will understand from James chapter 4 verse 4 that I mean, love with world is hostility towards God. What is love with God, with, with world? Loga eh? Hostility to, towards God. That means the Loga Sneha Mandana Deva Toda Shatrutuan. Okay? And a lady again. Loga Sneham, Deva Toda, Shatrutuan. Okay? So, why this is happening in the churches today? You know, why this is happening in the churches today? Many of the churches and many of the believers are going away from the presence of God and they are, they are intermingled with the, the world and worldly things. I mean, Satan is attracting them to the world and they are mingling with the other people, mingling with the, I mean, the, 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 the worldly things. Why? Why? That doesn't have a spiritual awakening. Hallelujah. So let us pray for all the churches today that let all the people, let all the believers have that spiritual awakening in their heart and so that they will be coming back to the Lord and having that close relation with God. Hallelujah. And that's the reason that says that my love with world is hostility or enmity towards God. And also, we, we understand that Hosea was, I mean, asked to marry a person who was a prostitute and also having three children in that prostitute woman. Okay, listen. Hosea is compared with God in this particular chapter. Hosea is compared with the God. And Gomer, the prostitute woman, is compared with the, the people of Israel. And three children, they are compared with the consequences of their sin. That means, through Hosea, he was giving the messages and he was I mean, loving another prostitute woman. At the same time, that person was becoming a wife of Hosea. Okay? Just like that, the people of Israel became the wife of God. That means what? Huh? The bride and bridegroom in that way. Okay, in, in, in Christianity, in New Testament, the, the, the body of Christ, the church, the New Testament church is the bride of Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus Christ is the bridegroom and we, the church is the bride. Okay, in that way, Hosea's wife, Gomer, is representing the people of Israel. Okay, that means, you know, the, the uh, Hosea's wife, Gomer, she went away from the 
original husband and she was asking for many other people and she went away to 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 meet other other men and get an other other husbands okay same way the people of israel they were going away from the original husband and searching for other people to become his her husband okay at the same time as a consequence or as a result what happened eh? the people of god they were troubling and they had many lost they lost something then they 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 were i mean i mean uh, 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 losing their relationship with god and uh, they were going away from the presence of god that's what we see okay that's the reason that god is bringing some of the people into the story and telling them and this is going to happen for the people of israel in the coming days then think about i mean how i mean he was having that two sons and one daughter then go to chapter chapter 1 uh, verse 4 uh, i'll be next next slide yeah yeah read uh, uh, chapter 1 verse 4 then the lord said to her ah because i will put my hand on you okay why god was asking to hosea to have children in that prostitute woman Eh? it was to give them give the people of god a serious lesson what is the lesson you know in this uh, uh, verse 4 we are reading that god is communicating a serious spiritual lesson to the people of god and god is saying that okay, i'm going to do something because of this and he got the first i mean son his name was jezreel his name was jezreel what's the meaning of jezreel god will so or god will scatter that means it was to announce that the kingdom of israel is going to be scattered and that ha- actually happened you know this is actually action sermon or action preaching you know the prophet when he was doing something and uh, uh, delivering the messages to the people and communicating uh, to the people god was saying that this is going to happen in your life and through that i am going to teach a lesson to the people of israel what was the lesson eh huh? the first son the first son who was that jezreel what is the meaning god will sow or god will scatter that means i am going to scatter you when you are thinking today that you are all are together but i am going to do something among you that means i will scatter the people from there and i will do something among the people of israel when you was scattered you will understand that you have to be united together again when something is happening sometimes to the people of god that time we are not able to understand what is the real will of god real meaning of god when sometimes but god will tell you that when that was the will of god that happened there but again god is i mean i mean asking you to come back to the lord and to have a reunion again i mean to to have a re, i mean i mean togetherness i mean again so that's what we understand from the life of the first son jezreel that means god will scatter you and the second one the second one uh, verse uh, i mean 6 read verse 6 ah hmm hmm okay the first person the first son was jezreel okay and the second one is daughter her name is loruhama that means without mercy without mercy that means it's written there i will no longer have compassion on the house of israel okay loru hama jesreel and loru hama okay don't forget this okay ningal endu marannu poya ennu arnjalum ee moonu peru marannu pole kotto eh ee prasangam ningal marannu pogirade idini aaru prasangichalum parana njangala pastor nerthe prasangicha nu parnjekana okay the second daughter second one is a daughter her name is loru hama means without mercy that means it was to announce that god is not going to show mercy on the people again that much I mean that much I mean god was grieving about the people of israel and he was saying that i will not again show a mercy compassion on these people because that much is the sin of this 
people and that's the reason that God is saying that I don't want to show again a mercy or compassion on these people because they are doing sin and they are adulterous and they are having any spiritual I mean adulterous and they are mingled with the, the other nations that they are going from the, the presence of the original God hallelujah praise God and that's the reason God said you put her the name is Lu, Loruhama Loruhama that means without mercy that means God is not going to I mean, show I mean compassion or mercy on the people of Israel again thirdly the third one is son okay first one is son second one is daughter and the third one is son name Lo Ami Lo Ami. Lo Ami means not my people. Is it clear? Not my people. That means it was to announce that God is feeling shame to say that this is my people. God was shameful to say that this is my people. I cannot bear these people. You know, they, when, I, when I say that, oh, this is my people. I am shameful and I don't want to say that oh this is my people and God was saying that when I, I, I am feeling shame to say that this is my people man listen very carefully you know, when God is doing something and when God is speaking to a person when God is speaking to a church man God has a will and God has a purpose and God has a plan to tell them something that you are supposed to be returned back to God Hallelujah. I mean, I mean today, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to I mean, talk about uh, Ezekiel. I had to I mean, talk about Ezekiel also today. And uh, I had a slide also. But I mean, I mean I'm closing with this today. And uh, if, 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 if God allows that we will be I mean, thinking about uh, Ezekiel maybe in the next uh, I mean, Sunday. Listen very carefully. You know, why God is doing all these things and why God is allowing the prophets to do something and preach the, preach the, preach the word of God. In the Udana, he was here for the other day in the Provasic and Maru, the Yum Parnade, the Indianum, Chuma Prasnicha Pora, the Nilajiva Truda Kanichu would have come and down Israel. Israel is some poik in the other number of Manasri Kodakan. I mean, seriousness of Manasraki Kodakan, Avadu Parayana, Ningal and the Yanam, eh? Ningal the Yusin Marangi Verana, Ita, E. Bajan and Kerkanam. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you one thing, I mean, dear, I mean, brothers and sisters, let me tell you very, very seriously that, you know, first of all, God was saying to Hosea, and you are supposed to go outside and marry a prostitute woman. Because when God was saying that you are going away from the presence of God, you have a husband, okay? And you have a person who is called as your husband, but you are going away from that person and searching for other people. I mean, so that means the spiritual adultery was happening in the, in, 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 among, the, among the people of Israel. I mean, God was always, I mean, against that. And God said, no, 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 you are not supposed to have that spiritual adultery in your life. You have to come back to the Lord. Hallelujah. You have to come back to the Lord. You know, you remember, about, you just think about the, the struggle that Hosea is, I mean, uh, uh, having that day. You know, the struggle that he is having. Yeah, I mean, he may be asking God, God, why should I do this? Because, you know, the people of God are going away from the presence of God. Then why should I go through this struggle? I mean, being, I mean, maybe 30 years or 35 years or 40 years a man, a person, a young person, I mean, marrying a prostitute woman. Oh, Lord. I can do that. But but he didn't say that. He said, no, I'm ready. I'm ready. Whatever you said, I mean, if that is a, a beneficiary for the people of God, I'm ready to do that. And with that, within that time, God was speaking to the people that this is what is happening among you. And this is the situation of the people of Israel now. And you have to come back to the Lord. Hallelujah. And again, God said to, I mean, I mean, uh, 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 Hosea, that you are not only supposed to, I mean, marry that Gomer, but you are going to have three children. Why? Why? God, I mean, wanted to tell them that when, in, in when, you, when you go to chapter 2, uh, in chapter 2, uh, uh, can you can you can you read that maybe uh, verses verses uh, yeah verse one. Yes. Okay. 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 What is that? Ningal da sahodri marka ami ende chenam endum. Ningal da sahodri marka ruhama alengil karuna lebichevala endum. Periyuli kivin. Inda inda artho nariyamo. 
Amen. Even though, you know, even though you are away from the presence of God, even though you are leaving me and searching for other gods and goddesses and the idols and everything, I mean, still I love you. I mean, that means even though the people of Israel were unfaithful in the presence of God, God is still faithful. God is still loving. And God is saying that in chapter 2, chapter 1, and he was explaining all those things, but the history is there. But in, in, in chapter 2, God says that, okay, still I love you. I mean, once he said that, okay, I will not show mercy or compassion upon you again. And again in chapter 2, he says that, okay, I, I'm ready to call you as my people. This is the love of God. This is the love of God. And this is the compassion of God. And this is the faithfulness of God, dear friends. When this morning, let us all say that, oh Lord, we thank you for your love, oh God. We thank you for your faithfulness, oh God. Hallelujah. When many a times we are unfaithful in the presence of God. Many a times we are away from the presence of God. But God says that, I still love you. Even though you are intermingled with the, the worldly things and all those things. But still, I love you. You come back to God and have that uh, when close relationship with God. Hallelujah. Shall we close our eyes in the presence of God? Let us pray together. Let us pray together for a while. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I personally believe that uh, when the Lord, I mean, wanted to speak something special, something special, something serious, I mean, spiritual lessons to the people of God. I mean, to the people of God, those who are attending in this prayer meeting this morning. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Hallelujah. I mean, just think about your personal life and your connection with God, your relationship with God. Hallelujah. Many a times, many a times when we are away from the presence of God. Hallelujah. Just like God said to, I mean, Hosea, that you will have to go through the struggles in your life. You will have to, I mean, go through that I mean, painful situation in your life in order to deliver, in order to, I mean, I mean, communicate to the people of God a serious message. Hallelujah. Even he got it and he received that message and he did it in his life and he is sharing with the people of God that this is what is happening among you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready to pray for the people of God? How many of you are ready to pray for the churches among us? Churches around us? Hallelujah. The churches around us. I mean, the, the, the Christendom today. Hallelujah. You know, many a times the Christianity, I mean, they were in the Sabhagal, Palapurium, I mean, he loga thought, I did Ruba Patugunda, I mean, loga thinned the Irik in the Kairing Lake, I would read over to go to Loga Kaira Kola Jivikinu, Adagunda in the Pala, they were Asan Marium, Pala Sabhagalum, Apamani Kapadagiana. Hallelujah. Etraver Kalimati Pratik and Kadim Kartavi, Elder Madaki Vertaname. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You know, there are many reproaches happening. There are many people, I mean, many servants of God, many people of God, they are intermingled with the worldly things in this world. Hallelujah. They are going, going away from the presence of God. Hallelujah. They don't remember the love of God. They don't remember the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. They are just rejecting the real God and they are I mean, running after the idols and they are doing idol worship. Hallelujah. But the Bible very clearly says that even though the people of Israel, they were going away from the presence of God. And they were I mean, doing adultery I mean, with the other people, other nations. Hallelujah. Chapter 2 says that even though you are, I mean I am saying that you are not my people. But in chapter 2 says that when I am ready, I am willing to call you as my own people. Hallelujah. It is true that I told you that I cannot uh, when show compassion. I cannot show mercy upon you again. But still, I love you. I am ready to show mercy and compassion upon you. Hallelujah. 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 Even though God told them that when you are going to be scattered. You are going to be scattered. Amen. I mean, you are going to be scattered. Amen. Stotram. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going to be scattered. Amen. Stotram. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jezreel. Jezreel means when you are going to be scattered. When even then God said, no problem. I will gather you back. I will gather you back. I mean, you will have a reunity. You will have a regathering again. Hallelujah. That is the faithfulness of God. That is the love of God. 
Hallelujah. Many a times, uh, when because of our actions, because of our, I mean, the, the doings that we are doing in this world, I mean, being as a believer, being as a child of God, I mean, yet, I mean, we are rejecting the word of God and we are going away from the presence of God. Sometimes, I mean, we are, I mean, in, I mean indulging and we are, I mean, always enjoying with the worldly pleasures. Hallelujah. But the Bible very clearly says that if you are ready to return back to God, Hallelujah. Let's pray for a restoration of the people of God. Hallelujah. Let us pray that every person, every person, I mean those who are I mean, not having that faithfulness in the presence of God, the people those who are I mean going away from the presence of God, I mean the people those who are going from the away from the word of God, let them come back to the Lord. Hallelujah. Let them come back to the Lord. Let's experience uh, the power of the Holy Spirit uh, in their life in the coming days. Hallelujah. How many of you can pray for the, those people? Hallelujah. The backsliding, the apostasy is happening in different churches in the, today. But God is looking for a person who is able to pray for the people, those who are away from the presence of God. God is searching for a person to stand in the gap to stand in the gap it will then the party can I to see the car time in the world call of a new shiki on a travel and with a tire on the hallelujah hallelujah party came out from Allah now look at the US and it's summer pick up for the way to mother give me a nick him out she wanna hallelujah I mean not only pray for other people let us also take a decision oh Lord I'm in in some areas I am being away from the presence of God oh Lord I need to I need to come back I need to return back to God I need to return back to the word of God. I need to receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I need the guidance of the Holy Spirit of Father. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready to pray for that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give to the give to the presence of God. Put yourself in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Many times we are carrying that burden on us and we are saying, Oh, I'm so burdened. Hallelujah. Today, when uh, I mean, as Cedric was leading that song, he was saying, I mean, put all your, I mean, cast all your burden upon the Lord. Hallelujah. He will care for you. Hallelujah. This morning, many of the people that were sitting here and you are having that burden in your life. You're having that burden in your heart. Hallelujah. Cast all your burden upon the Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, still many of the people are having that burden and they are disappointed and they are saying, Oh, I cannot live in this world. As I was taking the classes today for the adult class, I mean, the word, the word, word of God was saying that again. Okay, as Anamadi was sharing that, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, the prophet Elijah and he was disappointed with the word, with, 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 a, with, a, with, a, with a sentence of uh, Isabel. Isabel told him that I'm going to kill you. I'm going to destroy you. And he was so disappointed. And he was, uh, I, mean, I mean, just I mean, being there I mean, without doing anything. And he was saying, take my life for God. Take my life for God. Because of the overburden. Because of the disappointment. But the Lord said, Lord said, get up. Get up. Eat the food that which I'm giving you. Hallelujah. And you are maybe, I mean, sometimes we are having the, the burden of sin on us. The burden of the failures in us. The burden of disappointment in our lives. Hallelujah. But the Bible very clearly says that. When God said to I mean, uh, Elijah. That you get up from there. Eat this food which is prepared by God. Eat that food and go forward. Amen. Hallelujah. We read that away. After eating that food. He was walking for 40 days and 40 nights towards the mountain of Horeb. Hallelujah. They even Oriki Kurta, Aharam, Karicha, the Sheshamite, I mean Elia Vendi and Riamo, I mean Sando Shotogode, Napo the Divasum, a whore even the Parutri, Nadan, the Nadan, the Nadan, the Kairi Kairi Pogiana. You would not a Shakti hit together, you would not strength hit together. Hallelujah, I mean they even Kurta, Ahar and Karicha the Gundan, Hallelujah, in the Volcala of Orpicate, number of Paramel and the Mukha Yusin Rakiveka. They were told to party Gangartawe and the Paramel and Rakiveka. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Cast all your burden upon the Lord and He is ready and He is willing to care for you.
hallelujah 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 the soul submit us to the mighty hand of god when very prayerfully sit in the presence of god when silently pray in the presence of god the lord was speaking to you to your heart this morning that i mean whatever problem that you are going through whatever struggle that you are going through whatever what burden that you are facing that the, the, the obstacles that you are facing hallelujah the lord is able to I mean, make all those impossibilities to possibilities hallelujah I mean, nothing is impossible with god every every disappointment every problem every struggles of your life will be changed into i mean joyful situation i mean by the presence of god this morning hallelujah hallelujah bring your problem into the presence of god bring your struggle in the presence of god bring your burden in the presence of god god will remove that from your life this morning hallelujah hallelujah when I mean, you are thinking that okay i am an i am an unfaithful person i am a, i mean i i i i am not faithful in the presence of god you are thinking okay you are a sinner you are thinking that okay i cannot come to the lord but god says that you can come to the lord i mean i mean i mean you you put away all your sins and I mean, trust in the lord the lord will i mean deliver you the lord will heal you hallelujah that is the reason that the bible says that when when we are healed in our inner man that is the that is the first i mean foundation of a person transformation hallelujah so let us submit ourselves with the mighty hand of god let us be called as the faithful people of god let us be called that god let god say that okay this is my people hallelujah let god i mean show his compassion mercy upon every one of us as we are serving the lord hallelujah and we will be changed and we will be transformed and our life will be changed in the coming days and we will be profitable and we will be useful vessels in the hands of god in the coming days and uh, let us pray for that let's pray for the restoration let's pray for the return back to the lord and may god bless you all according to this word and uh, let's pray together i mean i would request uh, uh, brother uh, I and mean, jason uh, to lead us in prayer now i mean according to the word of god meditating that word and pray for all the people those who are gathering together in our church and they will be also blessed by the presence of god in the coming days hallelujah thank you